Today, we've got tours, we've got friends, friend meetups, we've got hopefully food and drink later. So the first two days I've been here, it's been sunny, really nice. And then just yesterday it was getting kind of cloudy, kind of breezy, kind of, kind of cold. And then this morning it was actually raining pretty hard. So in since then it's been sunny and then it's been rainy on and off. Um, it's now like 140 something. So uh, it's probably gonna rain some more. I'm still gonna risk it and take my camera with its little puff with me out there. But it seems clear today, I can see blue sky, so I think we'll take our chances. Let's see how it all goes. I'm reminded of one of the stupid things about being Tyler is you're constantly early to everything. One of the downsides is I don't know what to do with myself. I just end up sitting somewhere. That's one of the upsides of starting a project like this. B-roll. 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 And more B-roll. I end up spending a lot of time in this spot. There's a lot less foot traffic, and it's a good view. Good for people watching, good for aesthetics. All right, hey. I found Elka. Yay. She's gonna take me on a, on a little bus tour real quick, and then we're gonna probably do a thing tomorrow, right? Yes, um, that's so. quite interesting. With these old ladies, you know? <laughs> I mean, I'm their age. <laughs> but I don't feel like that. All right. So, let's get this thing started. Memorial nowadays, because that was one of the churches they were destroyed in the last world war. They don't have these old buildings. <laughs> you counted how many years ago it was built. <laughs> so this one, this one right Yes, it's that one. But it was destroyed in the last world war. They rebuilt it. And you can see, you can, you can walk up, up to the tip. You can see the windows up there. And there you can walk up. It's really narrow. Only five persons can be on that platform. Of the churches, we have, we, still, we have left over the oldest, yes. No, we have much older churches. On the right hand side, the Alsa At least 300 years older than this one. Yeah, there's only in order to give Hamburg back a City Hall, you know, kind of uh, Venetian atmosphere, as Hamburg was considered as the Venice of the North. This is Pierre Lemieux, the City Hall. It was built in 1897. Uh, and you can see Philharmonie, Philharmonie, our new uh, music hall. Straight. Yeah. Yeah. The music hall, where is it again? The exactly the over there. You see the glass oh, okay. uh, coming up from... We could go inside. I mean, we do not have to um, stay on the city tour all the time. When he stops in, in that area, we could just get off and get into the building. Would you? Would you be interested? I'm up for anything. <laughs> okay. Houses in certain areas only of brick, because brick is the traditional building material here in Elbe Valley. And you will see a lot of brick when we go from Elbphilharmonie to um, 
the warehouse city, which uh, just a few years ago became uh, um, uh, got on the uh, UNESCO uh, World Heritage List. Oh. It's very near to here. Actually, this is already part of it, but this is. This is That is a very special way to, well, model uh, glass. And the upper part is brand new. And this is the, um, this is the, the music, music house. Yes. Uh, let's put it like this. There are two music halls inside, but there are also apartments on that side, 44 apartments. There's the Westin Hotel on this side. And uh, uh, there's that plaza, which is uh, that glass and wood inside when you go to the uh, concert halls. Windy and cold. So these doors, these doors open. Oh you can yeah, move them. I can kind of see. You can move them. Look at the look at the ceiling. You can turn them. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I can kind of see. Yeah, they got little pivot points down here. Yeah. Too. That's mm -hmm. that's cool. What's the um what's the tub in the yellow building? Two theaters, musical theaters. The yellow one actually was built as a tent like construction, but it's there for nearly thirty years, I would say. So it's rather stable right now. And the other one they built only three, four years ago because so many musical customers come to the city of Hamburg. And because these city musicals so how um, how did you come to know Cindy? Because uh, I've never heard her mention anything about coming out to Germany at all. No, Germany. So. It was not Germany. It was the Southern Hemisphere. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It was the South Island of New Zealand. And she was on her way to go on the milk trek the next day. We met at the youth hostel of Tiana, oh, which okay. is the place from where you start to go on the milk trek, the most beautiful walkway in the world take three days and um, we just happened to meet at the youth hostel and we were on we the started same started talking yeah, and, and we got into talking that and sounds next exactly day like we started Cindy. to walk the Milford track <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly Cindy right there. <laughs> yes it was such fun and uh, well, we kept in, in connection I knew that in that uh, moment when we met she was on a world trip as she said she wanted to go once around the world which I did because I had a Pan Am ticket called in 80 days around the world it was a fairly cheap ticket and I came from Europe and uh, went to see uh, Thailand friends and went to Japan and uh, to other people I knew and my main destination was New Zealand, but I stayed overnight also for 10 days in, in Australia. And on my way back from New Zealand, I stayed uh, two weeks in Hawaii. And then uh, back to, to the, in, in the United States, I visited a couple of friends, which I could all, all uh, visit by this funny ticket. And uh, in the end, I think I didn't use the ticket, but I bought a cheap ticket to London. And from there, we used to have a, a ferry um, to Hamburg. It still existed in those days. I love this ferry. Is it's that the same one that you were telling me on the bus over there? Uh, no, the that is no, no. That, that is a real big ferry okay, that goes between there. across the North Sea. So that's how I got home after 80 days. It was in 1981. Yeah. Okay.
I wonder if that's the same world trip that so um, Cindy Cindy did mention she went around the world, but when but she, she went to Japan, ended up in Japan. Yes. She traded in that ticket and exactly. stayed for like two yes. more years. Exactly. exactly. Okay. Wow. She was a wealth of knowledge. I was going to lose all of my memory card to everything she had to say. Uh, thank you, Cindy. That was, that was really cool. Um, now I gotta meet up with some friends. video, right? <laughs> 40, 30. <laughs> and, um, focus. There it goes. And, uh, that was the day today. Man, I look like I'm dead right now. I feel dead right now. Very long day. Very informative and awesome to see old friends.